Chase Sonicson just wrapped up his first year as the Millstone Volleyball coach, leading the Bronx to the school's first district title. It wasn't long ago, however, that a return to the sideline was highly unlikely. Thought I had COVID, got home. It was the end of the year, so I'm like, oh, I can finally relax. But then um, I had a weird pounding in my ear. Late in the summer of 2021, Sonicson wasn't feeling well and eventually had his blood tested. The result? Myodysplastic syndrome, where his blood cells in the bone marrow don't mature or become healthy blood cells. For context, the normal blood oxygen level is 14, and his was at 5. Physically, I couldn't even walk from one end of the volleyball bench to the other without killing over. Like, <gasps> can't, can't even do this. Um, emotionally, you know, my whole life I've been taking care of kids. I've coached for 15, 16 years now. And then, you know, it's so weird when you get in that situation. How are you going to respond? I shut down. Add in the fact that Sonicson also has a rare genetic disorder, Fanconia anemia, an inherited disease characterized by multiple physical abnormalities, bone marrow failure, and a higher than normal risk of cancer, though the physical abnormalities are not present. This made treatment increasingly difficult to come by, though a trip to Seattle turned the tide. This PA that was on my team, he's like, Chase, Chase, this happened in 1985. It worked one time. What do you say? I'm like, I don't care. At this point, I was totally mentally checked out, assigned my life away, and they ran the two drugs together. We don't know. We don't know how it worked. The transfusions continued. Sonicson's health began to improve, as did his motivation for life. While he's still receiving those transfusions via giant needle once a month, he's back doing what he loves. Well, I definitely pick my battles now. I have calmed down a little coaching. You know, grew up a little bit. I don't know, but I just, I appreciate everything so much more. There used to be so many things in life that you take for granted. And I'm like, nope. Sonicson said he received support from throughout Montana during his darkest days, and that helped him come out on the other side. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.